Hi, and welcome back to SoFlo Dining, South Florida's premier dining blog. Today, we're going to continue with our series of pet peeves. The drink order. The drink order. Don't you just love it when mm. you ask for something and the drink order just, you know, you know they're writing it down because they're right in front of you. They're, you know, na -na 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 -na. Yeah, they're but taking notes and everything, and then what happens, honey? What happens? Well, that, that, that's another uh, one that, that normally when we go out, if it's if it's not a, a touristy place, normally we just stick with uh, a rum and coke and a vodka and diet coke with a lime. Um, pretty simple. Usually they write that down. Um, my line, 30, 40 percent of the time. What do you think? Maybe more. <laughs> Somewhere around 40 plus percent of the time. Honestly, I'm embarrassed. For she don't get the line. How hard is this? Rum and Coke, vodka and Diet Coke with a lime. You wrote it down. You wrote it down. Yeah. Um, my basic thought of this is, I'm telling you what I want for you to give me to make me happy. You're writing it down, and you still can't get it right. Yeah, it just, it's I mean, a there's a disconnect, and it goes to training, I feel. I could be wrong. Because, yeah. you know, I've, I've gone to school <laughs> and I've learned what you're supposed to do. Right. But other than in training and, and that, I've never really done it. But you have been in the yeah. business yeah. many years. Yeah, I've been what a waiter. Is, I've been a busboy. There you go. Now, what's your opinion on that? Again, the customer's telling you what they want. Give it to them. Be the waiter. Go to the bar. Make sure that that drink is the right drink. You got it written down. Check it. You bring it to, back to the table. Yeah. I mean, even even one thing I would do, even if it looked right, I still would come back and say, "How is that drink?" Absolutely. You know, is it to your liking? I mean, would you, you do that and bring a napkin for me? Because I can't stand when that little napkin. Oh, that's another one of your pet peeves. <laughs> when that little um, napkin gets like demolished on the table, with yeah. all the humidity dripping on it, and then it's it's a mess, and then yeah. you get it on yourself. And if I'm wearing silk, ah. well, no, it, well. With, with one thing back with the drink though, mm. with the drink, I would check to make sure that it's the right drink, okay? Because Absolutely. my tip relies on your satisfaction, okay? Now, another one of your pet peeves is the wet napkin, no napkin, swimming pool on the table. We're in South Florida. <laughs> Give us a coaster, okay? Give us a beverage napkin, not a cocktail napkin. Cocktail napkins are meant for people to put in their hand and eat it hors d'oeuvre. Beverage napkins soak up the moisture. Um, we were at a place recently and they gave us the beverage napkin and it really wasn't needed. Um, it wasn't that, that humid out. Um, but it was funny because I finished my drink, the, the server brought over another drink, and I was willing to keep the beverage napkin. It was pretty dry. And he insisted, no. I'm going to take it. I have to give you a new one. And Doris? Yeah, yeah, no, he did. He gave you a new one. He gave me a new one. He made sure that the drinks were coming, that they were correct, and that we weren't getting, you know, into the swimming situation on the table because, you know, of the overflow of the, the water. Right. So I thought that was pretty cool. No. And he was so quick about it, too. Yeah, but the thing to me is coasters. Coasters are free. Your salesman will give them to you. Your liquor salesman, they give you them free. So that's that's not a cost. <laughs> the beverage nap, as opposed to the cocktail napkin, I know why you're ordering the cocktail napkins, because they're half the price of the beverage napkins. But you're going through twice as many cocktail napkins because they're turning into mush. <laughs> you know, they don't get that. I mean, anyone out there, when you get a drink, do they not put three or four cocktail napkins there? It, it makes no sense. Yeah. yeah. You what, know? About, what about when they're... When they're like really, really industrious and they take away your drink before you finish. Oh, I it. can't stand that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, one of my drinks I drink is, is a godmother. It's a vodka and amaretto. And toward the bottom, it gets pretty clear. It looks like water. And they'll come by and they'll ask me if I want another drink. And they will just take that away. And I'm like, I, yeah, I got a quarter of a drink left. <laughs> <You know? laughs> 
Like, wait for me, and, and Doris will tell you this, uh, but when you were done with your drink, yeah. you, you put it forward, right? Absolutely. When it's in front of me, right in front of me, it means I'm still drinking it. Yeah, it's, it's still in play. It's it's yeah. active service, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, you know, so. Yeah, yeah, definitely this means I'll take another. Please. Right, right. And thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Absolutely. What about overpoured drinks? How do you feel about those? Well, again, this, you, you are the one, uh, this is one of her criteria, is the bar, she, she does the drinks in, in our reviews, um, but to me, if, if I order a, a Jack and Coke, a rum and Coke, and it comes to the table, and it looks like ice, iced tea, <laughs> I know I'm in trouble. Um, drinks drinks are, are drinks, or classic drinks are classic drinks. Because they stood the test of time. Exactly. Because um, they taste good. Giving me double the Jack, double the rum, double the vodka, you're not doing me a favor. Mm -hmm. you're, you're destroying the drink. Now I have to have another soda to pour that drink into. Uh, I told you uh, years and years ago when I lived in Jersey, there was a chain that I, I, I went to a couple times and I got uh, Jack and Coke. Mm -hmm. And every time I had to ask for that pint of Coke, that you know they served it in a pint, and I had to say, can I get a Jack and Coke and a pint of soda? On the side, please. Yeah, and I would drink half and half and dump it in because wow. it was pure liquor. Wow. And again, they think you're doing you a favor, but you're not. You're really not doing me a favor because you're, you're giving me something I can't drink. If I wanted a shot of Jack, I'd order a shot of Jack. Yeah. You know, I mean... Something like rum straight is not too good. No, no, know? it's got to mess with the break-even point too. Right for the bar. Just saying. I mean, I mean you know. we 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 like a stiff drink. Don't get us wrong. Right, right. But, but it has to be mixed correctly. Right. You know, in proportion. Right. That's all. I mean, we're not asking for much, and I'm sure you guys aren't asking for much. You know, and I, I bet you there are some people out there. They're taking notes and they're saying, hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, these guys have something. <laughs> well, I hope a, a lot of the managers or owners watch this video because a lot of it is on you. A lot of this is training. Um, I, I don't, I don't fault the waiters um, when we do our reviews. Mm. I, I really don't hold the wait staff accountable in the review. No, you don't. Um, if if it's bad service, which we've been to a place we've had terrible service, um, we went back after I sent an email to the owner or the management mm -hmm. and they took care of it and we went back and we go back and, and we go back we, even tomorrow we'll be there <laughs> but <laughs> but no of, um of, yeah, yeah but no that that's you know the management it, this rests on management um and training yeah because you know you you get people out there you throw them out there they don't know what they're doing um some people just want bodies out there and you got to remember, those bodies are what's making you or breaking you. Absolutely true. And if, if they give the customer a bad experience, that's going out all over the place. And and, and everybody doesn't go back like you and I do. No. Because no. we know that people have a bad day or, you know, bad week or whatever. Um, it happens. It, it, it does. Yeah. You know. But... Um, well, you don't want to be a victim of that. Well, it, it goes back into why we do what we do. Um, I started doing this about seven years ago, I think. Um, I wasn't around. Thanks again for joining us this week for this installment of our pet peeves. As always, enjoy and I'll see you there. And don't forget, join us on our blog, write to us, give us some suggestions. We're always open to suggestions. And don't forget, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you then, and thanks for joining us. And don't forget, we'll see you next week with a new review, and in two weeks, another installment of our pet peeves. Take care. Bye.